Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Do you want a top end performing NVMe solid state drive, but you don't want to break the bank? Are you looking for something for a top end premium build, an i7, a Ryzen 7, a premium machine that deserves a premium drive, but you don't like the prices of drives like the Samsung 970 Evo? I have a solution for you. The ADATA SX8200, it is an NVMe PCI Express 1.3 drive. It has 64 layer 3D NAND. It has a DRAM cache, an SLC cache, a five year warranty. It essentially has all the latest and greatest technologies of drives. And I will show you benchmarks in a minute, but as much as it doesn't make a difference, it is very, very similar in performance to the Samsung 970 Evo but for less money. $40 less expensive for the 500 gig size, $80 less expensive for the one terabyte. That's money you can put in your graphics card, more system RAM, maybe buy a larger drive. That's a deal. Now I've tested various NVMe drives in the past and generally my recommendation has always been if you're going NVMe, buy the Samsung, they make the best. Now Samsung's still a great drive, I love them, but this is one of the first NVMe drives that I've tested that is both A, as fast as Samsung's, and B, a much lower price. Because just being as fast and the same price doesn't really bring anything to the table. It also does not sacrifice warranty or any other features. It really is nice, and I'm happy to show this to you today. Today's video is brought to you by Backblaze, the unlimited online backup service for just $5 a month with no throttling and no file size restrictions. Back up all of your personal files, internal and external hard drives supported, no matter how much data you have. I have all of my YouTube videos and all of my work and personal files backed up with Backblaze, and I have been a paying customer since before I had a YouTube channel. So I have a lot of experience with it and it has saved me several times. Check out the link in the description below. Two week free trial, no credit card required. Give it a download, give it a try, and you'll see just how quickly it backs up your files. Backblaze, it is an amazing online service. Now, some of you may be asking, what are these two drives doing on the desk? We'll talk about those related to value in just a minute. But first, let's get to the benchmarks of these two drives and show you how good this SX8200 really is. Up here, we have the ADATA SX8200, and here we have the Samsung 870 Evo. Take a look at the first line. This is sequential transfer speed, Q depth of one, thread count of one. This is what most people see on their desktop computers when they're simply copying files. Now, the Samsung 970 Evo is about 10% faster in the sequential read speed, 2.2 gigabytes per second versus 2 gigabytes per second on the A data, but those are both exceptionally quick. It is also worth noting that drive companies love to advertise this speed, but unless you're just directly copying a file, and note these speeds require two separate drives, have them if you're copying a file or duplicating a file within the same drive. This isn't typical user behavior. Small random reads and writes are really what most people are gonna do. So let's bring that down to the second line. Random 4K read and random 4K write, Q depth of one, thread count of one, again, normal desktop behavior. Yes, the big numbers down below look pretty, but this is the reality of it. This is what a normal single user Windows 10 desktop environment is going to experience. Now, the ADATA SX8200 is in the 67 megabyte per second range. The Samsung 970 Evo is in the 71 megabyte per second range. That is 6% faster. It is faster a little bit on a benchmark. In the real world, you're never gonna notice the difference between these drives. They are very, very close in terms of random read performance, which is what you're actually doing opening your web browser, uh, multitasking, switching, having Windows launch, close, etc. What you will notice, however, is the $40 price difference of the 500 gig size and the $80 price difference of the one terabyte size. For 6% less random 1K read performance, a 4K read performance, you're looking at a fairly substantial price difference. That's not bad. I would also like to note, I gave the Samsung the benefit of the doubt. The custom Samsung NVMe driver is installed, which really only they make. Now, anybody who buys a Samsung drive can install that, but I'm willing to bet a lot of people who buy Samsung 970 Evos don't download and install it. It is not automatic. You have to go to Samsung's website. Without that installed, 
the performance is actually identical to the A data drive. That's just what's missing on, frankly, A data and everybody else's NVMe drives is Samsung has the budget to write some custom software, which gives them a small, it looks nice on charts. It lets them take the top of the leaderboard. Nobody goes, oh, well, the Samsung's the fastest. The Samsung is the fastest by 6%. This is a lot less money. Moving down to the bottom two lines, all I'll really say here is, yes, again, the Samsung's a little bit faster, but those are Q-depth of 4, Q-depth of 32, higher thread counts. Those are multi-user intense multitasking workloads. If you're actually the kind of user who's going to be getting into heavy Q-depth, heavy thread count multi-user access, I wouldn't buy either one of these. I would buy an MLC drive such as the Samsung 970 Pro, which will write full speed across the entire drive, has double the drive write endurance, and so on and so forth. If you're running a server or a heavy use workstation, the TLC drives wouldn't be my first choice, but those drives cost a lot more money. So this is more a single desktop standard user workload. And between these drives, they're very, very similar. A little bit of performance edge goes to the Samsung, but the price edge goes to the ADATA. That brings us to the other two drives I put on the desk, and I'm bringing them here to bracket the A-Data drive in terms of price to performance to show you what you get by going higher, and I'm going to show you what you get by going a bit lower. Now, NVMe drives are nominally M.2 drives. They're the small drives you put on your motherboard. This is an M.2 drive. The Samsung 860 Evo is a SATA drive, a serial ATA drive, rather than an NVMe, non-volatile memory express drive. It's not a PCI Express drive. It's the same as the two and a half inch version, just in a more convenient form factor. On the day I film this video and prices do vary, that's why they're linked down in the description below. Those are affiliate links. They support the channel. Please use them while shopping if you want to support tech deals. That is $132 for the 500 gig drive. This is 139. There's less than $10 difference between these drives. The two and a half inch version is a bit less, but the M.2 version, which matches this for ease of installation, is less than $10 less expensive. Let me show you the Samsung 860 Evo's performance here next to the ADATA SX8200. There's no comparison. In sequential performance, the ADATA is four times faster. Not 4% or 40%, 400% faster. It's not even close. Now, in terms of random read performance, the difference is not as dramatic, but that's true across all uh, drives, NVMe and SATA, just because of the fact that single Q depth, single thread count, which is normal desktop workload, doesn't really let these drives shine like a multi-user environment does. That being said, the A data is more than 50% faster, not 5%, 50% percent faster than the Samsung 860 Evo for less than $10 more money. That's a deal. Anytime you can get that kind of performance increase for such a marginal price increase, that's really where this just shines and blows away the competition. Now you can buy 500 gig SATA drives for less than this. A Western Digital Blue is less than this. It's also not as fast. I'm just using it to show the, the flagship drive, the Samsung. If you want to buy a less expensive drive, well, that's what we have the Mushkin Triactor here for. I recently did a video on this drive. This is available for under $80. 480 gigs, same size as this. It is worth buying, but it's nowhere near as fast as this, and it's not as fast as the Samsung is. But again, it's under $80. This is what I would put into a Ryzen 5 or an i5 or a Ryzen 3 or an i3 or an upgrade for an older system where price to capacity is the most important thing to consider. Now I'm gonna put its performance numbers up here and you'll notice that the 4K random read speed is less than half that of the A data. It's only about 30-ish megabytes per second. But again, it's under $80, so the price reflects that. For a mid-range to a low-end system, this is overkill. This is a perfectly fine drive. I Frankly, I think all the Samsungs are overkill for a mid-range or lower-end system. But if you are building an i7 or Ryzen 7, if you want performance, if you want super quick boot times, if you want super fast game loading times, if you want your multitasking and web browser and everything to just snap, this is the deal. Quick note on test and benchmark suite uh, configuration. Crystal disk mark is what you saw used for the benchmark numbers. Ryzen 7 2700X on an X470 ROG Strix ASUS motherboard was the test bench. All of these drives were configured as a secondary drive in a PCI Express X4 lane slot on the board. 
The drives were completely clean and bare. All of these are brand new drives with no use behind them. Windows was not installed on them. It's installed on a separate uh, drive on the machine. And then finally, 16 gigs of RAM is installed there. Not that that matters, but I'll mention it. So this test is about as even and fair as I can possibly make it. Now, it's not necessarily real world in the sense that those are synthetic numbers, but it gives you a, a really good way and consistent way to compare the performance of different drives, thus the reason I use it. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below. Questions and comments in the comment section, check the links in the video description. The links to all this stuff to Amazon and Newegg will be down there. Those are affiliate links as I mentioned before. It supports tech deals when you use those to shop. I would greatly appreciate it. You'll also find links down there to Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and now Facebook. I have not been active on Facebook lately, but I plan to be more active, so that's down there. Please consider checking that out. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.